Park Leonard, and you come on. Hi, my name is Keiko Oral. I'm the state representative representing the communities of Lakeville, Middleborough, Berkeley, and Taunton. I um, want to thank you, Mr. Secretary, uh, Commissioner Chester, Chairman Sagan, and the board members for offering this forum for the public to offer their opinions. I know that we're not going to get to everyone tonight, but I think that you can surmise from the crowd that from the buttons that folks, most of them are um, opposed to park and moving forward with it and um, are in favor of less testing and more learning. Um, <laughs> Amelia sends his regrets. He did have meetings in Boston. He represents Bridgewater and wishes that he could be here. My comments will be brief. I'm pro technology, I'm pro high standards, and I'm pro transparency. My main issue, and Commissioner T Chester will attest to this, has been the cost. The cost associated with the initiatives, transparency for the taxpayers. And so in April of 2014, I filed legislation. I've met one on one with the commissioner. I've talked it to multiple people in the Department of Education asking for a simple spreadsheet of how much is this going to cost each community? How much is this going to cost the community of Acton, Boxford, Bridgewater, Canton, Dedham? How much is the technology piece going to cost. Now, to be fair, Commissioner Chester's office did get back to me, but it was with a, a broad type of approach to the technology, noting that it will be $75 million statewide. It's not clear to me how much my communities will be um, looking at. So, because I did not get the information, I decided to start my own spreadsheet. And it started with some of my communities, and I asked them simple questions. If the board makes the decision this fall, will you be ready to move forward with this decision? Do you have the technology in place? Do you need the hardware? Uh, are your teachers ready to, to, to do this? And um, some of my communities got back to me and said, yes, we're ready. But the communities that didn't, or that, that are not ready, are who I'm here on behalf of because the community of Middleborough, the IT person there, said they are not ready and they will need a million dollars to get ready. And I'm afraid that if we move forward with this initiative in the fall, they'll have to opt to a paper pencil version. And I'm not sure when Middleborough will have the funding available to move to a paper, to, to a computerized version, which I believe is the goal of the part testing. So with the $38 million that was appropriated in the bond bill, $5 million has been appropriated, and eight lucky school districts have been the recipients of that money. Middleborough wasn't one of them. They applied for that, but they didn't receive it. So again, my concern continues to be the cost. That's number one. Number two, the two systems that will still be in place. If we adopt PARC, the science MCAS will still be in place. How much sense does that make? I, I'm just, I'm really trying to figure out how we're going to accommodate the two different types of testing assessments and, and if we're going to be moving towards a science-based, computer, a computerized science-based assessment. <coughs> Number three, other states like Ohio are considering changes. I, I brought a clipping um, from the Cincinnati Enquirer from May of last last month. They're considering changes in the House and Senate. They fully adopted PARC. Out of the 26 states that went into the consortium, there were about 12 left. And so, again, we need to carefully consider what other states are experiencing. They're experiencing um, computer glitches, too much time on testing, and that's why they're looking to make changes in Ohio. Number four, the paper pencil versus computer version. If we move forward this fall, not every single district will be ready to do the computer version. So therefore, there will be some districts doing paper pencil and some doing computer. I would like to see the psychometric standards that show that those two systems are equal. 
because that's what's happening in Ohio. They're being compared as equal. I do not see how a computer version is the same as a paper pencil version. When I attended the park um, forum for teachers where they explained how this test would take place, they showed an, a YouTube at the eighth grade level of Amelia Earhart. I don't see how watching a YouTube answering questions is the same as looking at a piece of paper, reading a selection on Amelia Earhart and answering questions. The inequity among the school districts, I've already mentioned that if we move forward with this initiative, not everyone will be on the same page. This is a justice issue, a fairness issue, and there are some districts that are wealthier than others, and, and some districts will be, have no problem moving forward with this, um, with this new initiative. The reality is we can't assure that across the board people will be able to afford this new initiative. Um, and so in closing, my questions for the board to consider as you make this decision is, do you know the cost of park for each community? Number two, can each community be assured that they will have the resources they need? I do not believe we cannot, we cannot move forward and figure that piece out later. We're already strapped at the municipal level for funding and we cannot figure that out later. So I would urge the board to not move forward with park this fall. We're simply not ready.